Hey everyone, welcome to the third of our 13 week behind the scene journey into season two of Home Diagnosis. We want you to be part of the conversation and production team, which you can do at patreon.com slash home diagnosis TV. So episode three, which is going into production soon, is all about water. Mm-hmm. Subtitle, destruction. destruction. <laughs> um, so we're gonna be talking about things like flooding, like drainage, and we're dealing with this in both the tiny lab, which I don't know if you know, but we had a flood in the tiny lab, which was very exciting. You can see that video on this YouTube channel. And we have dealt very intensively with water control on this house. So we're talking about humidity. We're talking about Mm -hmm. all kinds of things to do with the destructive power of water. And you know, you've been on HGTV and you've seen when they've chipped off a tile and found mold. Ah! So you've seen rot, you've seen mold. The question here is, what invisible dynamics have we not seen on home shows up to now? So to find the answer to that question, go to patreon.com slash home diagnosis TV so you can hear more about our plans for this episode. And if you're new to our show, enjoy this next little bit from season one. Coming up on Home Diagnosis. We all love a good flip, right? But really... If you haven't addressed the performance problems, then you will end up living in an old leaky house that has new makeup. Boys in a nursing home and I just want to know if I should leave it like it is and sell it for what I can get. Building and renovating is hard work. And I'm sure it can be done, but again, it's a cost. If we didn't give them the right information, they could totally go down a very long and expensive path. 